hey y'all welcome back to another video i decided to do this pop art trending little style that's going on all over instagram and i wanted to do it quick before everybody on youtube started doing it and i didn't have any ideas of what to do myself so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the video So before we get into anything, you guys, I need y'all to make sure that you have already liked this video and make sure that you're subscribed. Like, why are you not subscribed if you're here? So I know y'all have seen this trending style of nails all over Instagram by now. I know y'all have seen it because I've seen it so many times within the past week, y'all. But that is what we're going to be doing today. However, I chose to only do one nail. I thought it would be kind of um, different for me to do like an actual um, full set of pop art instead of just that one particular design that everyone's been doing on all five nails um that would kind of get repetitive and it was kind of boring i mean it's cute don't get me wrong it's cute but i wanted to do a little more and i wanted to go a little overboard as i usually do like i always have to be extra now i did make a couple mistakes in this video and on these nails um but i will be correcting them as we go along or if i didn't correct it i would be telling you what i would have wished i would have done what I, did that make sense y'all oh my gosh i'm sorry i'm doing this voiceover early in the morning it's like 11 o'clock so by the time y'all see this it will probably be sometime in the afternoon it's 11 a.m on monday and i'm like finally doing my voiceover i did these last night early this morning um my sleeping schedule is just all over the place but like I was saying, um, I do have a couple mess ups in this video. This is obviously my first time ever doing a pop art set. I honestly surprised myself with this art. I did not think that I was going to be able to do some of the nails, especially the lips, the lips and the what else? pretty much just the lips the lips is what I was the most scared to do and that was actually one of the easiest nails which was crazy um but yeah you guys I'm gonna just talk y'all through everything so this voiceover today is actually going to be like a full in detail tutorial I'm probably not gonna venture off too much and talk about any other um topics today because I want y'all to know exactly what I'm doing in, on each nail so first and foremost, I guess I should start off by saying that each nail is a different color, obviously, and each nail has a like jelly um, acrylic powder. So what I mean by that is the acrylic powder is not going to be super, super opaque. You're going to pretty much be able to see through each nail on this set right here. The thumb was a milky white by not polish. This one right here on the pointer finger is bubblegum by Valentino, which is pretty much a, um, see-through color. It is not, it's like a jelly color. They don't label it as a jelly acrylic powder on their website. However, it pretty much is um and then the middle finger i think i put the middle finger i mixed the middle finger up and the pinky i mixed those with uh gel polish but i when we get to that i will tell you exactly how i do it because i don't think that i filmed putting the first um color in my monomer or mixing it with my monomer but if you have to make an acrylic powder which i did for certain colors that i wanted to use because i don't really buy jelly acrylics i don't buy jelly acrylic powders um so i did have to make this one right here and that is what you see in there this is gel polish um beetles gel polish 637 mixed with some monomer you guys so that is how you would make um, an acrylic powder that you don't have if you don't have the color that specific color you can make with a um, gel polish or a regular polish it doesn't matter I just have gel polishes so that's what I use um, and if you want to make it a jelly then you will use clear acrylic powder if you want it to be more opaque then you are going to use a white acrylic powder to dip it in so that is why this one looks jet like a jelly like consistency and it is um, a jelly like color 
because I am dipping this in clear acrylic powder. Now, um, Savvy Land is a really good clear acrylic powder if you are a beginner. I do suggest it just for the price range. Um, it is a little bit on the runny side compared to me a secret however if you know how to work with it and you are able and know to dry your beads out before putting them on the nail then you will be just fine using this um it's a lot cheaper than me a secret i think me a secret four ounce is like 17 18 dollars this four ounce is only nine dollars or ten dollars it's like 9.99 on amazon um oh i forgot to mention to you guys i do finally 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 you guys i finally have an amazon storefront um i finally figured out how to get it i had to apply and i was approved right away so i finally have that up it is linked in my description box i already put it so that it will be linked in my description box from here on out um i have not put everything up there just yet however once this video is uploaded I will be adding um, some stuff to it as I go. Uh, a lot of the products that I use in this video, um, if you see that, or if I mention that they are from Amazon, I will have them linked on my Amazon storefront. So feel free to go check that out. Um, like I said, I just set it up, so everything will not be up there today. However, I will have tons and tons and tons of stuff within the next week or so. Um, I just plan to add pretty much everything that I've ever ordered from Amazon that is nail related. I'm going to link on my Amazon storefront for you all to just go click on it and purchase if you would like to. Um, a lot of this stuff is like filming, editing stuff, uh, brushes, nail art brushes, um, I actually just got some new nail art brushes that I'm definitely going to link in there for you all um, after this video is uploaded. So just keep on the lookout for that. If it's not up right now, check back in a few hours. I promise you guys it will be up um, by the end of Tuesday night. So just keep a lookout for that but um the brushes that i got from amazon were amazing they worked amazing and y'all are gonna see just how good they worked for me i'm so glad that i got them before trying to do this set because i did not have any brushes that would have made this set come out how it did um so right now we are on the point uh ring finger i'm sorry we're on the ring finger and i'm using cover flamingo um this is like one of my favorite colors ever like one of my favorite acrylics i love how it goes down i love the application of it it's so easy to work with if you do not have this color y'all i always 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 recommend that you get this color it is a very neutral color meaning that it can go with so many different skin tones um i recommend it to pretty much everyone so right now i'm pretty much just laying the base down of each nail um like i said each nail is going to be a different color um but each one is going to have a different design as well with different colors these nails almost remind me of like abstract nails um abstract nails are kind of similar to pop art almost i just feel like pop art is a little more animated and you can put like faces and stuff on it versus just lines and dots and different um different uh elements as far as like squares or triangles things like that so um this was fun to do this was definitely like an experience for me because y'all know i always say i cannot draw and like i just want to put it out there right now for the people who feel like they cannot draw or you just have it in your head that like i can never do that trust me y'all like when i say i cannot draw I cannot draw when I say I am like not good at any of any stuff like that like I am not good at it so just try like just pick up a brush you guys and try I promise you it may look hard and it may look intimidating but once you start to practice it will get easier and easier and easier watch some YouTube videos on people who know how to draw and they usually walk you step by step on how to draw certain things so getting back to the video, we are now putting, I put some of my monomer in. I am using my monomer, by the way. Um, anybody who orders shipments of monomer this past weekend, they are being shipped out today. Uh, but anyway, so I did put some monomer in there and then I did put some gel polish in there. I'm using another Beatles color. It's this yellow color. Um, but as you can see, it was not dark enough for me. So I went ahead and I added more gel polish. The more gel polish that you add to the monomer, the more opaque and more deeper 
um, of the color it is going to come out so I wanted it to be a little bit more yellow than what it was so I did add a little bit more and after that it came out to what I wanted it to be now I still want it to be a little see-through so that is why I am not using white acrylic powder I'm still using the clear acrylic powder now I also wanted to mention that the brush that I am using I ordered off of Amazon it is a CADS brush um, the first CADS brush that I ever ordered that y'all have seen in most of my videos um, for the past few months was actually from AliExpress and they are both a size 12 however I feel like this one from Amazon is a lot smaller um, than the one that I got off of AliExpress which is crazy you would think it would be the opposite um, so I'm thinking about switching or trying to go up to a size 14 you guys I've tried it before and it just was not working for me it was so big like compared to my 12 but I still have it obviously I didn't get rid of it so I think I'm thinking of trying it again um, the 12 works good for my smaller fingers obviously um, my pointer finger and my pinky and stuff but when i'm doing other people's nails like i just did my friend's um nails the other day and i just felt like i needed a bigger brush like her nails were really really wide so it was very tedious and hard for me to get her full nail covered with just a size 12. so um it just wasn't picking up the amount of acrylic that i needed it to um so i'm thinking about switching to a size 14 y'all if you have not seen that video i will link it up here for you all if you want to go check that out right here i am just cleaning off my brush i'm showing you guys how i clean my brush i'm completely done with the application there is no need for my acrylic brush anymore so i do put it in acetone and then after i'm done getting all of the acrylic out of my brush i go ahead and put it in the brush cleaner and that cleans it for me and conditions it so these are the new brushes that i got you guys i'm so excited y'all have to go get them like i said they will be on my amazon storefront the link is in my description box so that you can go ahead and purchase it these were like so bomb they did everything for me they were literally so pointy and very very thin so that i could be really really precise with my lining they helped a ton like i do not think that i could have done this nail art on these hands or on these fingers the way that i did without these brushes um i specifically got these liner brushes because i knew that i needed to stop being cheap and getting the ones that i got off of shein they're okay they work okay but they are not what these are um i also have a mccart brush they um this set comes in like three it comes three in a pack and you can also get um one from beetles beetles also has the same exact ones they look just like the mccart one that i showed you that blue one um they come in a three pack so i'm going ahead and this first nail i'm going to be doing some drips and there's not too much i need to explain with the drips i just want to pinpoint that you are going to see some lines that are up there drawn um like a different color but i just want to mention that i went kind of out of order on this nail because what how i did it was not the correct way of doing it so i wanted to show you all the order and how you should do it so please just ignore if you see any extra color on the nail before you see me actually lay that color down just act like it's not there until i actually lay it down if that makes sense <laughs> so i'm just gonna let you all um watch through the drips because i've done drips on my channel before everybody does drips there's not really not too much to explain as far as um making the drips once i do the drips i'm just going to outline the nail with both of the colors that i use which are a hot pink and a light pink and that's pretty much all that is to this nail it is more so of a just look and see and copy versus me trying to explain it the other nails i am going to definitely explain because they are a little more in depth and thorough So 
So somebody actually asked me in another video, I think it was my Q&A or some video. Yeah, I think it was a Q&A. Y'all had asked me on Instagram how old I am and I told y'all that I would answer in that video, but I completely forgot. So I'm so sorry, but nobody got it right. Like I think somebody was close, but I am 31, you guys. I'm 31. I will be 32 in January. I am an Aquarius baby. Um, yeah, so I'm 31 going on 25. I tell everybody that I'm 25. So if you ever hear somebody say that I'm 25, just roll with it. Go with it. Don't be, don't be putting me out on blast, y'all. Just like I tell my son, I am 25 until further notice. I've been 25 for a few years now, but it's okay, you know? So yeah, <laughs> that answers y'all question. I definitely already know what my next video is going to be. Um, I've already discussed it with you all and some of you are interested, some of you weren't, but I really do want to make this video because I feel like a lot of you, it will help a lot of you out that have a YouTube channel or are aspiring to have a YouTube channel or just start. Um, but the next video that I'm going to be posting after this is definitely going to be a video on um, how to get your first 1,000 subscribers and also how to get your first um, 4,000 watch time hours, which is able to, or which helps you get monetized. That is how you get monetized. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, meaning people have watched your videos for 4,000 hours or more. This is something that I really wanted to do. And I want to say this in the most appropriate way because I feel like it could come off really, really bad if I say it wrong. But I have been on YouTube for about 11 months now. I think my oldest video is 10 months going on 11 months. So 11 months. And I also follow a lot of people who, hey y'all, I am, um, I really love y'all and y'all are really cool. Like I always talk to y'all in chit chat. Um, but there are some other YouTubers that, uh, have been on a little longer than me and have either more videos than me or maybe the same amount of videos than me but just aren't reaching their subscriber point and um, that is not to say that I'm doing better than anybody or trying to bash anybody or put anybody down that is not the purpose of me saying this the purpose of me saying this is that I really wanted to make this video because maybe some of what I did can help you all you know even surpass me or or surpass your favorite youtuber you know like maybe what i give in this next video is going to be something that just gives you the craziest boost i don't know but i'm hoping that something that i say in this video is something that you have not tried yet and maybe that's what's holding you back a little bit so i'm just here to try to help y'all and yeah so before we're done with this now, I did want to come back and talk about this liner brush for these dots. Let me tell y'all, I should have been had this because I've tried making these stars and if you do not have a pointy brush, the stars can just be honestly a hassle. This brush was everything, like literally everything. I even could have used a shorter brush. I just used this long liner brush because I didn't want to mess up the other ones at the moment. Like I just want to see how this one works. So I pretty much use this on the entire hand, um, the entire set today. But y'all, when I say these lines were so clean for this, um, for these stars, I was just like, oh yes, this was so quick. Like literally it went so quick. You know, it's crazy. The nail art honestly did not take a long time. The only thing that really took a long time for me was the boom. The boom and writing pop took a very, very long time for me. When I get to that, I will show you why, but it was just like one of those things where it just was not coming out right and I had to keep redoing it. So yeah, you guys. So now we're on the middle finger and I am using this black out of this kit that I got off of Amazon, I think a long time ago. I have so many different colors. Um, this black is okay. However, you will see like as you stroke it and um, line through or bring it down, it is 
it's not as black as perfect black by madam glam so later on i will switch to the perfect black by madam glam not on this finger but i do use black again and since this one was not the best i did end up switching um it's something that you can't really see on camera you would just have to see it in person but i promise you guys perfect black by madam glam is like the perfect black it's so opaque and pigmented it's just really really nice and you do not have to go over it as many times as i went over it right here so this one i had to go over it a couple times just to make sure that it was super super black um madam glam perfect black you will not have to do any of that y'all um if you are looking to purchase from madam glam i do have a discount code in my description box um but even if you don't purchase through me like y'all their their polishes are bomb between them and nail reserve which i also have a code for in my description box but between those two i promise you like you don't need any other polishes especially for nail art um so right here speaking of this is nail reserve white attic this is their um white and it is super super white um the perfect white by madame glam is just as good i like both of them i do feel like nail reserve is their polishes are more so for um for nail art versus actually like painting the nail um i painted the nail with nail reserve polish on my friend and for some reason it was just not caring i think it's because it was so thick like you have to put really really light coats of this on for them to cure if you are doing a full nail but since we were doing nail art it worked out fine there were no mishaps or anything now this line right here i do wish that i would not have made it so curved i looking back at the nails like after the fact after i had already cured it and after i was just completely done with the set the little line right here like that i don't even know what that line is supposed to be but that line right there was not curved really unless they were doing like an almond shaped nail so for the shape of your nail that is how your uh little asterisk or whatever line that is that line should be um fitting the nail it should basically be hugging your nail um going down on the side so if you have an almond nail then that curve that i put in mine would have been perfect however i did not and i don't know you guys i just i wasn't looking at too many picture references so me doing this set i was kind of like freehanding it off of what i've seen in comic books and what i just deem to be pop art um if you know pop art is usually things that you see in comic books you guys so these are just the things that i know for sure i've seen in comic books the um drip nail with the stars i think i've seen somebody do nails like that however they had hearts in the middle of it i think i couldn't really remember so i just ended up putting stars but i do remember it was like a pink on pink on pink it was like a pink nail and pink polish with for the drips but it was two different pinks and then i believe they put hearts in the middle of the drips but i'm not sure who did that or where i've seen it i just remembered it so i wanted to do that because i thought it was super super cute but i did not want to do hearts because i didn't feel like hearts would go with this whole theme of nails or what i was doing so i felt like stars would be a lot better so now we are taking out the perfect black you guys and this is the black that you need okay like um this is perfect like it goes on so easily so pigmented so dark one stroke and you're done um i am going ahead as you can see i switched the brushes out for a smaller one because if you are using a long liner brush for this it's going to take you forever and your lines are not really going to be straight it's just not going to be as precise since um this is a smaller space of lining so just be sure that you're using the correct brush for the correct amount of space that you're doing artwork with if that makes sense um so i did go ahead and i just outlined it the uh boom part now i was going to put boom in the middle however i did not make it big enough to fit boom so when you are putting that red part down or whatever color you want it to be it doesn't have to be red it can be any color when you are putting that part down make sure that you're making that space big enough for the wording that you want to put or the lettering that you want to put in there so i ended up having to use um the word pop 
because it is a little smaller and that is the only word that I could think of that will fit inside of this little design. And I went ahead and I used Yellow Attic, which is also from Nail Reserve. This is a super, super pretty yellow for, um, for the artwork that I'm gonna be doing. I don't have too many yellow polishes. Um, they're actually, I think this is my only yellow polish in addition to the one that I used to go in the monomer today. But other than that, I don't have any yellow polishes. So when I got this one, I was super excited for um, when I opened it because it was just as pigmented as I wanted it to be. Now on that pop nail, you did not see me outline it, but I did outline the word pop in black. So you'll see it in the end pictures, but I did not record it. Now, the reason why I did not record some things in this video is because literally y'all, my phone kept cutting off because it was saying I had no storage. But then when I went to go check my storage space, it said that I had like a hundred, a hundred gigabytes or a hundred something left to record. So I'm like, why is my phone keep doing this? So towards the end of the video, I actually, um, turn my phone off and turn it back on and my phone was working fine and recording everything So I am sorry about little bits and pieces that got cut off But majority of what you need to see is in here you guys So, um, if you need to see how I did the lips, please just slow the video down or rewind it It is really like not self-explanatory, but you just kind of have to make a liner of lip like make a bottom lip at the bottom and then you're gonna make like waves at the top <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it it's something that you just need to see and do for yourself um, and then I'm going to be taking some white liner and that was really easy I thought it was gonna be harder you see how I'm about to curve this line right here you just want to curve it to make kind of like an oval shape in the middle and that is the mouth like being open right now so then I'm taking the White Attic by Nail Reserve and I'm making this white line across in the middle, but I'm leaving some open space at the bottom. Now you're going to make the white line um, in the open space. The white line is going to be smaller than the open space that you have. The open space should be a lot more than that white line and you're going to fill it in with black. So the black is supposed to be like the empty space of your mouth. If you wanted to put a tongue right there, you could have, but this was not the look that I was going for because I was going to fill this in with, uh, I'm filling this in with some glitter acrylic or not glitter acrylic, some glitter polish. Now, as you can see, I made those teeth. I was trying to make the teeth, but it took me a few tries to make it because when you are making the teeth, you guys, you want to make sure that it is very faint. You don't want the teeth to look black, obviously, but you do want it to be outlined. So right now you see the teeth are, they look black right now, like the lining looks black, but I'm going to go back in a few seconds and erase that. And I'm going to show you exactly how I got the lines to be faint. Right now, we're just outlining the lips. This is not something that you have to do. However, I thought it made the lips pop. So that is why I did it. I just thought that overall, it looked better for the, the picture and the graphics that I was going for. Um, it just looked more cartoon-like to outline it in black. Now, I did forget to say this in the beginning, but I do want to go back and hit on how to mix polishes in with monomer to make a certain um, colored acrylic. Uh, you are going to be using clear or white colored acrylic, but to mix in your monomer, you do not have to have gel polish. I just want to reiterate that you don't have to have gel polish. You can literally go to Dollar Tree and get those cheap $1 polishes or $125 now, but you can get a dollar polishes and mix those in with your monomer. So obviously in between using different colors of nail art, you always want to make sure that you are curing so that nothing blends together. That's a big mistake that um, beginners in nail art make. Like you have to cure in between you guys or the colors are just gonna mesh together and it's not going to look good. It's not gonna be pretty. So right here you see me, I put down like very, very faint black lines, but then I'm gonna go in with, um, I went in with another liner brush and kind of cleaned it up to make it a little more faint. So then I went ahead and cured that and now I'm using some glitter polish and the glitter polish is basically gonna be made to use like the mouth watering. So um, what I did with this is I mixed it up with a little silver, like just like a solid silver 
and the um, holographic glitter polish because I needed it to really show up. The holographic glitter polish so shows up. However, it's not super opaque, so I didn't feel like it was gonna give me um, the dramatic of drip that I needed it to be. So I did go ahead and add a little bit of the opaque silver to it. Um, or darker silver it was more like a gray and i mixed those two together so now you see me just making more drips but it's coming from the mouth now and i'm kind of just putting it very sloppy up there um it does not have to be neat obviously like if somebody's drooling it's not going to be neat so I, there is no really specific way to put it up there just make sure that it is not covering the teeth you only want it to cover the black part um which is the open space of the mouth and down and then I just put some more little tiny drips at the bottom. I will go ahead and clean them up a little bit just to um, make them a little more precise. So you'll see me do that in a second. And I did go ahead, after I cleaned it all up, I made some more drips at the very top of the nail. And that was pretty much it for that nail. Now you will see me go ahead and top coat this nail with matte top coat, however, I don't think I showed it in this video, but after I top coated the matte, after I top coated this nail with the matte top coat, I did go back before taking pictures and stuff, and I went over the glitter parts with a glossy top coat. So the only gloss, the only glossy parts of these nails on all of these nails are my drips. Those are the only parts that I had a top glossy or a glossy top coat on where the drips on this finger right here and the drips on my ring finger everything else was matte all the other fingers were matte so nothing was topped with gloss except for those two things which were the drips So we're almost done with the video, but if you liking it so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Y'all gotta like the video. Come on now, what you doing? If you ain't like it yet, what, what's going on? So I personally feel like this last one is the prettiest out of all of them, like the prettiest. Now my favorite is the lips and the pop, but the prettiest was hands down this one, in my opinion, in my opinion. Y'all let me know, y'all let me know which finger you like the best in the comment section because I'm anxious to know like what's your least favorite and which one is your favorite let me know down below but this one was my favorite as far as it being pretty but my favorite overall was the lips finger and the pop finger those two were like so cute to me but y'all I'm just making a heart right now I just make two dots in the center where I want it to be and I connect it that is it that is it like make it simple quick fast and simple y'all do not try to outline no heart I used to do that and y'all my heart would be lopsided and just looking all types of crazy okay so just do be easy on yourself and do two dots and connect them that's it for the heart so now we're taking the gel polish that I actually use for the middle finger in the monomer but we are going to not obviously mix it with the monomer we're just going to use this the uh gel polish by itself i'm sorry i'm stumbling over my words because i'm like super tired you guys like i've been up since one this morning and it's like 12 or 1 in the afternoon right now but um after this video i'm eating and i'm going to sleep y'all i need a nap so i don't know if i'm going to be up here for the premiere i probably won't i don't know if i'm going to put it as a premiere just yet but we'll see so anyway i'm going ahead and i'm making just thick stripe lines that's it like literally just making lines and i'm just gonna curve them a little bit now the first one i should have curved more however i didn't realize like how much how curved the other ones were gonna be so that was kind of my mistake if i had a uh fix something it would definitely be that first one I would have curved it a little more um to the left but other than that I love how these nails came out I'm literally going to be curing in between like every one to two lines that I'm making because for some reason the polish was like spreading or separating I don't know what it was doing y'all I don't know if it was because it was beetles uh, gel polish or if it was because it was on a matte top coat, I don't really know why it was doing that. I've never really experienced it do that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It was kind of like, it wasn't spreading. It was just 
like some of it was like disappearing i don't know i don't i really don't know how to how to explain it but to avoid all of that you are just going to have to cure um in between every few stripes that's it so just cure really quickly before it even has time to do that so this line right here i was just trying to get it perfect and that's why you see me going back <laughs> looking at it and then going back and adding more um i just wanted it to be really even and match up with other lines and I pretty much do the same exact thing until I have surrounded the whole entire heart by all of these lines and then I'm going to take some um, perfect black by Madame Glam and I am going to outline uh, all of these stripes in black and I'm also going to outline the heart now I'm not sure if I got me outlining the heart in the video just because like I said you guys my phone kept cutting on and off it was saying that I did not have enough storage so I literally had to like uninstall YouTube uninstall Instagram like uninstall Facebook just so I would have enough storage to complete this video today and i really think my storage was acting really weird because i was using i was recording in 4k usually when i record in 4k i guess it uses up more space than hd so that might have been why i'm really not sure but it was a hassle and it was really irritating me because literally it was the last nail and i was almost done and my phone just was not letting me be great y'all so like i said if I miss um, part of me outlining the heart. That is why. So I do apologize. But other than that, you get the gist of it. I outlined the heart in black and I also outlined the um, lines in black. And then I took the yellow attic again, which is the yellow. And I put dots in the middle of all of these stripes. And then I also added some little stars at the end because I was just really feeling how the first stars came out. So I wanted to add just that extra little touch to this finger. And I thought it came out super, super cute, guys. Like, I don't even know what else to say about these nails. I was super excited. I do um, think that I could have done better and maybe made some of the lines a more uh, crisp and cleaner. But I mean, for my first try, I have to give myself myself a pat on the back. Like, I personally did not think that they were going to come out this good. I am super excited that they did, though. Like, it's just it's dope. So I hope y'all like it just as much as I do. I hope I'm not rambling too much. But y'all let me know down below if y'all like this set or not. And should I do another one? I don't know if I'm ever going to do another one of these. I think this was like a, a one time thing um, until it trends again, maybe. Um, I do want to do some abstract nails. I love, love, love abstract nails. Tabitha Scott does a lot of abstract nails, and I just think hers come out so freaking cute. So she's the one who really got me into wanting to do them. I just have not because I'm scared, and I don't want to mess it up, and I don't want it to look tacky. So I've just been waiting. Um, but I think, I don't know, I think I'm getting better at my line work and these brushes have helped me out tremendously, you guys. I'm sorry that finger was not in focus for some of it. Um, I don't know what my camera was doing, but it's all good. Y'all know what I was doing. I already talked y'all through it. So now we're just taking the yellow, like I said, and we're making a couple dots down the middle. No particular order, no particular way. They do not have to be straight. I kind of just went all over the nail. If I couldn't go all over the nail, then I did make them straight. If I could, then I did. So there's really no pattern to this. Um, these nails do not have to be super, super neat. Like, yes, they have to be neat to a certain degree, but like overall, they do not have to be so neat that you're like literally like checking for line work. So these are not abstract nails. I feel like abstract nails are the ones where you have to really be a little more precise um, and make those lines super clean. But like I say, y'all, this brush bomb for stars. If you're looking for a brush to do stars with, y'all need to get this brush. They are Winstonia, I think that's what they're called. And yeah, they're just bomb. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much all I have for y'all today. I just went ahead, like I said, I top coated some of these nails in matte top coat. And then I put some glossy top coat on the drips part. And that was it. That is all to this look, you guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. Mwah. Bye.
Thank you.